This is Stephanie Kirst, Electromagnetic Radiation Specialist and Building Biologist. We are standing in a basement about three feet away from five Sonos Connect amps. These are a high source of RF when the wireless is on, and I can demonstrate that to you with my Safe and Sound Pro 2 meter. Let's just turn this on. And you can see the max reading there. It's fluctuating. Right now the highest reading is 44,000 microwatts per square meter. If we then go ahead and go into our Sonos app, and we disable the Wi-Fi for each of these. And then we'll remeasure. That one's done. We'll go to the second one, click on Connect Amp, Disable Wi-Fi. And we are in settings, which is at the very bottom right of the screen, and then system. And that's where you find each connect amp and you can enable or disable Wi-Fi. So we're on the third out of fifth connect amp. It's disabling the Wi-Fi. You can see the light blinking on the Connect amp as it's processing. Okay, finally, we'll disable the fifth unit. And we will make sure the Wi-Fi is off on the phone. And now we're going to remeasure. And look at the difference. Again, we're standing three feet in front of five Sonos Connect amps in a basement. When we go in, to the settings menu on our Sonos app into the system menu and go to each individual connect amp and select disable Wi-Fi. And these connect amps have been connected to the wired router via an ethernet cable on the back of each one. So now we can operate the system using an ethernet cable and you can see it reduces our RF exposure from 44,000 microwatts per square meter down to two, three, six microwatts per square meter. So that is a significant improvement. Thank you.